2019 has been dubbed the International Year of the Salmon, a celebration to raise awareness of the critically endangered Atlantic salmon and their varied ecosystems. This project will explore the restoration projects taking place on rivers in down East Maine. These rivers include the Union, Narraguegas, Pleasant, Machias, East Machias, Orange, Penamaquan, Denny's, and St. Croix. The Union River. The Union River is 22 miles long river that stretches through Ellsworth, Maine, located in Hancock County. An issue for the habitat in this river is the 70 foot high Leonard Lake hydroelectric dam that has been responsible for killing adult fish of many kinds that try to go through it and get crushed in the turbines. This dam is under review for relicensing. The Union River Salmon Association and Down East Salmon Federation, or DSF, are advocating for fish passage, along with many local residents and business people. Upstream and downstream passage is an issue. All fish swimming upstream must be caught and trucked above the dams. Downstream passage is hindered by the dam that alters stream flow, temperature, and sediments and kills any fish that try to pass through the turbines. The Narraguegas River. The Narraguegas River is a 55 miles long river that stretches through the western part of Washington County. There is one major habitat issue on this river, which is the ice control dam in Cherryfield, which impedes diodromous fish passage between salt and freshwater, contributing to once was a highly productive salmon fishery river. The DSF, along with the Nature Conservancy and Atlantic Salmon Federation, are working to raise 120,000 for research and are remaining 210,000 to remove the dam and restore salmon migration in this river. The Pleasant River. The Pleasant River is a 13 mile long river that stretches through the Columbia Falls area in Washington County, Maine. Down East Salmon Federation removed a dam from this watershed in the 1990s, which was causing a halt in salmon migration. Now, DSF has a fish hatchery that is located in Columbia Falls near the river that helps restore the salmon population and teach the general public on issues affecting the Atlantic salmon. The Machias River. The Machias River is a 60 mile long river that stretches through the central part of Washington County and empties into the Machias Bay. Since projects that have taken out culverts, old mill sites and log drives successfully, this river has very little migration issues and contains some of the best habitats down east. The Bad Little Falls at the mouth of the river may be impassable at times, but there is a fist passage adjacent to the falls that salmon can navigate fairly easily. The East Machias River. The East Machias River is a 36 mile long river that has been central point for salmon restoration in down East Maine since the dam removal in 2000, with the help of Coastal America and the US Air Force. There are not too many habitat issues in the East Machias River, aside from the remnant log drive dams, culverts, and old mill sites. The East Machias is home to the Peter Gray Parr Project, which is stewarded by the Downey Salmon Federation. DSF has been increasing smolt numbers of the Atlantic salmon in the river for the past eight years. DSF has a hatchery located on the mouth of the river in East Machias and is open to the public for tours and citizen science research projects. Fall fin clipping is an exciting time of year because it engages school groups and the general public. The Orange River. The Orange River is a short six mile long river that goes to the town of Whiting, Maine, that has one major problem for salmon migration, the Mill Pond Dam. The dam is located in the center of Whiting Village and halts all upstream passage. The Downey Salmon Federation has recently acquired this mill site and is working with the town to repair the dam and restore fish passage for salmon and other fish species. The Penamaquan River. The Penamaquan is an 8.1 mile long river that stretches through Pembroke, Maine and has historically been a major river for salmon fishing. However, there is a dam with a fish ladder that has always allowed fish to pass through but now the numbers show almost 75% of fish are not able to make it up the ladder due to maintenance problems. Downey Salmon Federation is partnering with Washington County Council of Governments, Downey Sustainability Project, and the Sunrise County Economic Council to repair and restore this ladder and other parts of the river that need restoration. Denny's River. 
The Denny's River is a 23 mile long river that stretches through the eastern part of Washington County, Maine, and has been known as one of the best salmon rivers in Down East Maine. The Denny's has had some minor issues with agricultural pesticides being traced from runoff in the river from nearby fields, and different chemicals from nearby properties used poorly for dumps. The DSF have acquired 40 acres on the Denny's River and has plans to build a streamside hatchery eventually. St. Croix River. The St. Croix River is a 71 mile long river on the US Canada border and was one of the largest salmon runs on the Atlantic coast between the Pemsicott and the St. John's rivers. However, many problems have caused a halt in salmon migration. Those being the Milltown Dams in Calais, the Great Fall Dam about 20 miles upstream, and the pollution coming from the discharge of the nearby cities of Calais and St. Stephen, and waste from the woodland pulp mill. Fish runs have been built on almost every dam and pollution efforts have, been ma have made an impact on the woodland mill, leading to a major restoration for fish in the river. Officials are making plans to build a salmon hatchery on this river to bring back higher numbers, but issues that may come with that is the adaption to high numbers of smallmouth bass who have already adapted and flourished in the salmon habitat. In conclusion, the 2019 International Year of the Salmon will bring people of all places and cultures together to celebrate the salmon restoration and recovery efforts made by organizations and groups all over, just like the efforts being made here in Downey's Bay.